Yeah. Yeah. You can literally follow our, our, the channel and we've been talking about this from the beginning and something tells me this ain't the end. I hope it is, but I don't think it is, but uh, let's move on Lonzo. Um, it seems like every other day we're hearing about another smash and grab robbery. Uh, a couple of weeks ago, 40 people, 40 ladies and gentlemen, ran into a YSL East St. Laurent store and stole $300,000 worth of items. Uh, they had 20 cars parked outside waiting for them. Uh, just last week, a group of thieves took off with $100,000 worth of merchandise from the Gucci store in the South Coast Plaza right here in Southern California. Do you think it's going to get worse before it gets better? Uh, yes and no. It's going to get worse. And at some point in time, they're going to put pull, um, drop the hammer on this shit. And it's going to change everything. They ain't going to tell nobody when the hammer get dropped. They're going to change the laws overnight. And folks going to do the same shit, thinking they can just do it. Oh, wait. It's oh, it's 10 years now. You didn't, Nobody told me. I, I, I'm sorry. No, no, too late now. So, I mean, this, this is how the law works, man. This is how the law works. The law, like the three strikes law, it was, it, it detoured a lot of bullshit, but it also got a lot of people caught up unnecessarily. Guys going to jail for life for pizza, cigarettes, whatever the case may be. So then they twist, they rolled it back some more and made it a little bit more reasonable. You had to have a violent crime, whatever the case may be. And then they come up with this thing, well, you know, uh, locking people up in jail for misdemeanors is, you know, unfair because the guy, you know, you drop the, the guy go to jail, sit in jail three or four weeks, and the DA dropped the charges. He lost his job, lost his heart, car, maybe lost his family. Now he's homeless because he can't get back. But to give people the illusion that it's okay to walk into a store 40 deep, 20 deep, 10 deep, whatever the case may be, or one, two deep and just walk out with people's stuff, man, that's not a good idea. Because now you got store and, and you got store owners who have to pay for this stuff no matter what happens. You got insurance companies got to pay for this stuff. And basically, man, what you what you're experiencing is People, somebody realized that the cost of doing business, the cost of a lawsuit is not worth the cost of the cost of the item that's being stolen. So what happens is you get a security guard that grabs somebody and, you know, got, somebody wants to fight and tussle. And all of a sudden now the store, the store chain got a case. They got to give up 10 grand, 15 grand for this cat stealing because the law is so stupid. Even if you get caught stealing, you can... If a guard mishandle your ass or handle you too rough, you can sue him for um, for for his for his, his uh, assault. So now somebody gets caught stealing some shit in the store, costs two or three hundred dollars, and the guard do his job and detain him, but the person puts up a resistance and homeboy slam him on the ground. Whatever they do, oh my my lip got busted, and the cost of the item does not supersede the cost of the lawsuit. So it's best to let's let them go out the store with the shit. But like everything else, both going to take it to the next level. Okay. Both going to take it to the next level. And you're going to look up there. Not, this is what you got right now. It's a thousand dollars is the limit. So folks walking in, stealing all kinds of shit under a thousand dollars, allegedly, and walking out, not paying for it. And the security guards just stand there looking at them. <sighs> it's going to get worse because they're going to change the laws or they're going to find a way to block off streets or be, be better prepared for them or lock doors where they can't get out. And, you know, they lock the doors on you. You just can't get out. Is that, is that kidnapping? Okay. Banks do it all the time. If you walk out of a bank door, you walk in them damn doors and you walk out with that, with that money and they trap your ass with that bulletproof door, that, that, um, that buzzer door. You mean, you can't get out of there. Is that it? If that's not illegal, They'll be doing that with uh with with various with uh Gucci stores where you have to have double double locked doors, and you walk out there with something that you ain't paid for. They lock your ass into the police get there. Now what you gonna do? I saw somebody one day though get his ass whooped. <laughs> yeah, whooped. You, you, you see that? Did I say that to you? They Probably. I know. I thought a few ass. times. They whooped his ass, and they I mean literally his ass. Not, nothing across the back. They wore his back, his legs, his ass. They just beat him to he just gave up all the stuff. But I tell you what, he ain't stealing nothing else. I'm a believer in a good ass whooping. A good ass whooping turns a whole lot of shit. Good ass whooping will, will supersede uh, a prescription for various drugs. A 
A good ass whooping will teach people manners. A good ass whooping will teach you how to um, respect people that you don't think need respecting because he's a, they just cool. A good ass whooping will teach you respect for your elders and your and your um, and your teachers. Uh, yeah, and your parents and the police. So yeah, good ass whooping is a hell of a prescription. And fathers, I was just talking to a cat man who we just were randomly talking, and he said. You know, I never joined a gang. I never ran the streets because I was way more afraid of my father than any gang, than it, any anybody. So just having a male in the in the house could be a is a big deal. Man, um, I've seen situations where mama be begging, 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 and daddy said, "If I, if I got to get out this damn couch, it's gonna be. It's, if I have to get out of this couch, you got a problem. All right, it changes everything. If I have to get up." Uh, if I get when I get if I have to get up, you won't be able to sit down. Now, think about that. Yep, yep. So important. You know, tell us about LA, Lonzo. Tell us about the inner cities all over the country just before the three strikes law came to pass. You know, just before the ninety six crime bill came to be. Was it similar to what we're seeing now? And take yourself Back to that time, you were, what, 35 years younger? What were your thoughts about the three strikes law back then? I knew it was uh, it was crazy. It was it was necessary. That's the, that's the bad part about it. It was necessary, man. You, you hate saying that today. And, the, you know, Biden was one, of the, was one of the main people pushing that three strikes law. But at that time, the streets were so fucking buck wild. We had never seen the streets like this before, man. The crack cocaine and gangs was, was rampant. They was finding people bodies everywhere. They were finding bodies everywhere. It wouldn't be shit. Nothing wasn't nothing safe, man. Nothing was safe, dude. Shots, people dying on the street, people getting robbed, dope dealers, drive-bys on the, on the corners. It just was a real mess, dude. OG and, Steve, they're looking out. Much love, Steve. I see you, Doc. And um uh, it was um it was just crazy, man. And folks, they had to do something. And they changed the law, and it calmed a lot of shit down. It stopped everything, but it calmed a lot of shit down. Unfortunately, a lot of brothers got caught up in that shit because, you know, you still want to whoop your girl's ass, and, and you got two strikes already. All right? But then also, a lot of girls use it against you. You know you got them two strikes. I tell them, you, you beat me in black. And, you know, girls, can, people can use that against you. So when you have some laws like that, they become... Um, they can be it can be misused, and folks, you know, find themselves in jail based on somebody just getting temporarily pissed off at him and call you know call the police and say he he beat me up and you ain't got no money, and that, that's the part I understand. You got folks doing crime ain't got no money, and even if if you if you go to if you go to if you get get caught and get out, do you have money for a lawyer? You gonna get a public pretender? And that's what I said. A public pretender, okay. You're gonna get a public pretender, and they're gonna cut you a deal. I mean, gonna give you a deal. It, it ain't about what you did, whether it's right or wrong. All that fighting and shit you see on TV, everybody fighting. They cutting deals. All right, you're gonna get 18 months. Why? Well, no, I ain't got time for all that. What you want to do? <coughs> I got a golf game. So that's how it go, Doc. And the 90s was just was just man. They was finding dudes in dumpsters. Cats was pulling up in front of the gas station. I mean, uh, people was getting jacked. Left hand lanes, you got Dayton's on. Oh, you finna, you, you ain't gonna make the, you ain't gonna make that next turn. Folks had to learn how to drive to, offensively. Cats wouldn't even make left hand turns in the left hand lane, if you, especially if you had an island. They make the left hand le- turn from the from the second from the lane next to the right because they don't want to get caught. Okay, they don't want to get caught, so they had to. They always had to have an escape route. One of my buddies, he was a oh, guy I knew. He was a jacker, and uh, most guys. Uh, would either had that have something in a lap, like that song, Crystal Big, uh, Crystal, uh, Pistol Grip, uh, Pump, Pistol Grip, Pump on my I'm lap at all times. Yeah, that wasn't no lie, okay. But then you gotta worry about the police too. You can't, you know, and and this is the part that I, I never understood. You think that because you got these dating wires, you got to defend them, but you also got, you got, if a cop pull you over, you got a fucking case, you got a fucking case. So anyway, Doc, that's a, that was the new millennium, baby. That was it. Man, 
Hey, uh, OG Steve, I want to read what he said, and thank you for the $15. Really appreciate it. He says, facts, Lonzo and Dusty. Did y'all see that video of the two armed guys who want to who going to rob an old man in his store, and the old guy had a shotgun and blew his arm off? They played a stupid game and won stupid prizes. Ding, ding, ding. 